is how to fix a negative weight when you place a weight on your scale or you're hanging something or on a pallet jack or whatever you put a weight on it and now the weight shows up as being negative typically happens on the 901 and I can show you how to make it positive so first turn it on So the first step is to get into calibration, pressing the on off and set button for three seconds. See, got into C01. So now you're going to go move left, you can see the left arrow, pressing the hold button. Now it's flashing the tenth place. You could press the zero button until three appears. I'm trying to get to C39. So press the units button to move right. And keep pressing the zero button until you see C39. Press set. Now you see C39, zero. So now with this, make press the zero button to make that into one. This will switch the signal on your indicator. So now a negative wave shows up positive. C39, one. So press set. It should be ready. C40 should save. Now press on off button to exit out. Now when I place a weight on it, you'll see a positive weight. If you don't have a C39 setting, I'll show you what to do next. You can now see I have zero pounds currently. And if I increase the weight, and now it is positive. Instead of before where I put a weight and it was turning more negative. Eventually it got into use on my indicator ends showing that it's going too far negative whatever that weight is if you're not able to change the seat 39 setting you have your five pin cable that connects to the back of it so you could take your screwdriver and a mini flathead loosen up the cable grab at a black end and start turning you will try to remove the metal housing and that will expose the wiring so if you notice closely you see the red cable green cable a white cable and a yellow cable So what you're going to be doing is you're going to unsolder the green cable and the white cable and swap them around. Green will be signal positive, white is signal negative. So if you unsolder the green cable and put it where the white cable is, and unsolder the white cable and put it where the green cable is, the signal is not going to be switched and your negative weight will not show up as positive. This will do the same thing as a C39 setting in your 901. But for whatever reason your 901 doesn't have a C39 setting or you have a different indicator then you will have to solder unsolder the green and white cables and switch them around there's one more setting i could do if you don't want to solder but you're okay showing up a negative way on an indicator so the third option which is the least favorable option but if you don't have a C39 setting and you're not able to solder then hold down the set and on off button You'll see C01 up here. So you're going to go into C25. So you're going to make the flashing digit. Press zero button to make it into a five. Move left by pressing the hold button. And press zero again to make it C25. I currently have it at zero, zero. So you can press the zero button. You see 10, 20, 50, 100. So this is the max capacity. So what this means is, if I have my C04 setting, your max capacity of the indicator, set to 5,000, it cannot go positive 5,000 up to negative 5,000. If it was set at 50, then it could go positive 5,000 to negative 2,500, which is 50% of the max capacity. So I could leave it at 100. And you can always check your C04 setting. See, I currently have it at 5,000. But you could always change your max capacity if you want. 
So right now at C2500, I'm able to go to positive 5000 to negative 5000. This will help from an underload or overload error that might occur if you go too far negative. That is third option, the least favorable because once you exit out, you'll still get the negative weight, but at least you're able to weigh what it is with a negative si si signal in front. That should help with your negative display getting underload overload error.